everybody, it's Sam at Mix.Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really pretty shadow box card. I have made similar before and I will share the link for those up there. So this is six by six and you open it up and there is your card. So there's lots of dimension to this. You can see that it stands up. So it's really a display piece as well. So this is something that you may just want to make pretty and look nice and just have in your craft room or somewhere else. You might want to give it as a gift so it's more of a a picture frame as opposed to a card but alternatively you have then got the option inside to also write your message and make this a really special card. There are so many amazing ways to decorate these. This is just one example but like I said check out my playlist because I do have some others there as well. In terms of giving this to someone, so presenting it, I have the box from my curve side, my side curve card that I made and I will link that in here now. You may choose to do something different. You may not decorate yours along the sides here or you know, in the corners and stuff, and you could just make a wrap to go around it so you slide the wrap on and off. You might also make a box envelope. So there's, there's lots of other ways to do it as well, but I have got that one if you do want to look at that. So yeah, really, really cute. This is using the Dovecraft Fairy Tales collection which I've loved. I've Again, I've used it so many times and I will, you know, drop in some other tutorials using this collection as well. But just bring it up a bit closer for you to see all that dimension. You've got the paper flowers, you've got the flat back pearls, got a bow, you've got buttons there with the pearls over the top. There's a doily there in the back. You've got the mirrored cardstock just framing it all so you've got a bit of shine and all of this has glitter all over the top as well. And this is a topper from the decoupage pack. So it's really straightforward to make. You just need this main piece is this card here. And this is actually a pre-made six by six card base on the back. I've just stuck it onto the back. So yeah, really straightforward. Okay, so you need a piece of 10 by 10 cardstock. I'd already gone ahead and started to fold and burnish mine and then realized I hadn't pushed record. So that's the only reason why mine's like that. So you want to score at half an inch, one inch, one and a half, and two inches and do that on all four sides and then you want to fold and burnish okay so I've already done all that okay once you've scored on all four sides you then want to come in just choose a side it doesn't matter because obviously they're all the same and you're going to score at two and a half past the first score line and just down to the second okay and then at seven and a half past the first score line down to the second so if I bring this up here can you see so this is my one at two and a half here there's every half, so half an inch, one, one and a half, two. This is the two and a half, past this first score line here, just down to the second, okay? Don't go all the way down to this here. And then again, with the seven and a half there, past the first score line, down to the second. Flip the whole thing around, so what you've just done is now facing you at the bottom, and again, do two and a half, past the first score line, down to the second, and seven and a half, past the first score line down to the second okay now go ahead and fold and burnish all of your completely straight lines and don't worry about those little ones because there are cut lines for in a minute okay so mine was already folded there make sure that one doesn't feel as good there we go okay so where you cut just down to the second sorry where you've done those score lines just down to the second score line that's where we're going to start cutting okay so at the minute you've just got all these squares but I'm going to try and break it down and make it as simple as possible so you're going to start where we've just got these small score lines okay so just cut down like so just to that like so then you want to cut across to that one so can you see I've now gone on an angle so I've just cut right across that square Okay, if I hold it there with that shadow, it brings it out really nicely. You can see exactly where I've cut. Then you're going to just cut now down to the corner of this large inner square. So this is our big six by six square in the middle. That cut now has just gone to the very corner. Then just turn it around and you can cut that whole piece out. So if I now just... Oh, lie that down you can see I've gone down where my score line was just to that second score line across the square and then down to meet these ones here the top well in this case it's the bottom left of the big square so again I'm just going to talk you through that one on this side so I'm starting with that smaller score line just cut down there 
like so. Then you want to cut across that square to that one and then just follow that down again bringing me to the corner of that larger square and then on the other side you're removing all the small squares so to make sure that you're doing it right at the end you shouldn't have any small squares they're all been cut they've all been cut away so all you're left with is all the longer panels here then if you go along now this side so you can cut whatever side you've got the flat piece on you want to make sure you've got it flat on the other side so I can go all the way down now to that corner turn it around I'm back again now on that opposite side with the two look with the score line there with that short score line so again just come in cut across and cut down now if you're if this is the first time that you've ever done a shadow box I'll link in some of my other tutorials because there are different um, obviously you know each one's different so have a look through them as well but once you've mastered it they are very straightforward to do and there we go so that is the shape now that you should have so you, it's all got to be equal so make sure you've got two two long pieces and then these sloped parts and then you finish with this long piece you should have four the same on the sides and then at the bottom again two sloped pieces and then the sides okay Okay, now in terms of putting it all together, everybody's different. Some people prefer putting these sides in first. I actually prefer putting these straighter sides in. So what you want to do is I'm going to get some of my tape. I would say maybe if you haven't done this before, use some wet glue because then you've got the wiggle room and you can always lift it off if you don't feel you've put it down in the right place. But what you want to do is you're going to add double-sided tape to the outer of these long ones, okay? So there it is, that's the bottom just bringing it over here and I'm just going to run some double sided tape because I'm, I'm using this thinner tape I'm just making sure that I um, keep it closer to the um, score line rather than that edge there okay so just make sure that that's all stuck down nicely and then you want to fold it in half okay so I've got two pieces on this side two pieces on this side and it should the outer side here should line up with that inside score line so it's exactly in half fold the whole thing over okay and burnish it so it's all nicely flat and stuck down okay and then when you bring it back up you should have a perfect square tube okay and that is the best way and then you can fold it back out that way but it's the best way to get a perfect square or rectangle or whatever, that tube shape. So then I'm going to go to the opposite side. Again, run some tape on that very outer piece. And again, fold it in half. So I've got two pieces on this side. And then making sure as you fold it over, it's really like butted up to that score line underneath. And again, just go over, making sure it's all stuck down and bring it up you have two perfect tubes you want to do the same on this side so fold in the outer ones and add some tape and you're going to do exactly the same again but before you push it in what you want to do is oh well the easiest way I do it is just pop some glue on each of the corners okay so it's kind of like a triangle of glue just on those corners Again, fold it in half and lie it flat, okay, like this. We'll just go in, don't worry if it buckles a little bit like mine has there, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to pop back up. And flatten down the sides, and as you bring up one side, bring up this as well. And it will all marry up perfectly. Now that wet glue, I've got a glue that dries clear, so I would say make sure you've got something that dries clear. But just some people put double sided tape under there and then put half of it, kind of peel half of it off, and then you know do the rest, peel it off as it comes up. I just find just good old wet glue works perfect. So just hold that in place for a minute. Okay, now I have got a little bit of buckling there, so I'm not sure maybe that one didn't go in as straight. So what I'm going to do is just check this one. Yeah. So go in and just check first that that goes in. If it's a bit off, then I'm actually going to trim 
some off here and go in a bit deeper with that triangular part there. See now that's much flusher because you want to be able to lie it down flat. Again, I'm going to take a little bit off there. So just go in. I can see the score line either side. So that's all that is, is a little bit of the score line. But I will, when I go to decorate, that little buckled piece will be completely covered. So no one will ever know it was there. And that's a good thing with these kind of things because you're always decorating them. You've got, you know, there's, um, there's always something to cover something up. But yeah, you just want to always, before you stick it down, make sure that it goes in nice and flush. So again, my tape's all down there. I'm gonna fold that piece over like so. Okay, and then bring it out slightly. Again, my wet glue's still setting there so I can afford to. I'm gonna pop a bit of glue on there. They are a little bit fiddly, but once you, again, once you get the knack of them, they really are fun to make. So now that is all in place, I'm just going to hold that down for a second. Okay, so there is my 6x6 shadow box. So now I've got my 6x6 pre-made card blank. Um, you could have this opening sideways. I'm going to have it so it's top folding and I'm going to stick that just on the back. I'm going to do it now because once I start decorating it I can kind of stand it up and see if I'm happy with you know where everything is. So to stick this one down I am going to use, do I want to use the wet glue? No I'm going to use some of my double-sided tape, maybe a little bit of wet glue here just to stick that down. So make sure I've got the, doesn't really matter at this point but I'm just going to get that covered. Okay, so where I've got that kind of buckled piece, I want to make sure that that's at the bottom. So I'm going to stick it, turn it over, and this is going to stick. Just make sure you've got a nice even frame. I mean, it doesn't matter too much. Um, and turn it over, make sure it's all stuck down. But now you can open that up and it stands up perfectly. That is really kind of relatively straightforward. <laughs> the time consuming part now and always is for me is decorating. Okay so I've got the paper pack here um, I have used the topper piece so the actual I guess preview of all the papers that you get in the pack. I always say whenever I share these you get this lovely piece here and um, it's always good to use so I've cut that and I've cut some silver cardstock here so this is four and three quarters by four and three quarters and it's going to sit in there nicely with a tiny frame then I've got this piece which is four and a half by four and a half which is going to go on top. Tidy up to you obviously how you want to do this. And then these are all parts of the collection. So fairy tales, doilies. So there's 40 here. They last for a forever. So that's going to go over there. So you, you do kind of lose the paper but I want lots of layers. I want lots of bits to this. This is one of the toppers from the decoupage kit which is here. So again, I've used so many now, I'm only down to, well there's still a lot, but some of them have gone. That was the last one, I don't have any more of the butterfly one now, I've taken that out. But um, you can see them all there. I've shared plenty of tutorials and I will share anything that I think will be similar just up there for you. So that's those bits and then that's the title for it. So like I said, where I've got that buckling bit, that's probably going to go there. I've got the butterflies that I need to add. I have got ribbons, I've got stickers, I've got buttons, I've got pearls, I've got paper flowers, I've got bows and I've still got other bits as well. So I'm going to keep this all on high speed now and you can watch me put it all together.
okay and there it is finished so I went to town with it in the end so I tried to get take one of them out and then it didn't work so I just added more on there and I thought yeah go over the top so I really like how it's turned out may all your dreams come true I think it looks really pretty really girly and then inside you've got room to write your message and I've used one of the stickers there have a magical day and it's a really cute keepsake as well because it stands up really nicely so and like I said it will fit in the box for that curved fold card you just need to you know check you don't go too high in terms of decoration so there you have it really pretty card i hope you've enjoyed today if you have please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more thanks for watching bye